Hi, I'm Angela. I'm a Canadian exchange student in Taiwan, and this is the story of my three-day trip to Green Island, also known as Lu Dao. This is the third part of my vacation, and it follows my vlogs from Kenting and Orchid Island. We took the ferry ride from Orchid Island to Green Island, which took around an hour and 15 minutes. When we arrived and got off the boat, we looked around the arrival parking lot where all the hostels and hotels on the island send drivers to pick up their guests, but our driver wasn't there, so we called our hostel and our driver came to pick us up from the pier and drove us to our hostel, the Lu Dao Nanhai Homestay, and pointed out a few things to us along the way. Then we checked in to our hostel, which for 850 NTD per night was one of the more expensive ones I've stayed at during my exchange, but the cleanliness, quality, and service definitely made it worth it. It was a capsule style hotel with a whole bunch of different cabins with 8 bunk beds each, and we had the whole room to ourselves for both nights of the stay, which was a pleasant surprise. While we checked in, we also rented scooters for $500 each per day and even booked a dinner reservation at a barbecue restaurant through the hostel. The owner also told us that we had gotten super lucky because there was a free outdoor music festival that night that a lot of people had come to Green Island for. So we hopped on our scooters and stopped at a random restaurant on the way to pick up dinner which we brought to the outdoor concert. After we got some free popsicles, we found a spot on the grass to sit and enjoy our meal while watching the performances of a bunch of Taiwanese singers. After sitting and enjoying the concert for a while, we hopped back on our scooters and decided to drive towards the Jiao Ru Hot Springs, which the owner of our hostel had suggested to go at night to see the stars. When we got there, we bought our tickets and we bought swim caps as well because they're mandatory. Then we changed into our bathing suits and got these little grocery baskets to hold all of our stuff while we went into the water. We ended up chilling there and having deep talks until 2 a.m. before we drove back to our hostel to go to bed. The next morning we decided to go snorkeling since our hostel was only one minute away from the Chai Ko snorkeling area. So we rented some gear from a scuba shop and then walked down this long path to get to the popular snorkeling spot. One thing I noticed was that there were very few people like us who were just swimming around in bathing suits with snorkels because almost everyone else came in large tour groups and fully decked out in equipment whether they were snorkeling or scuba diving. Anyways, we put on our snorkels and jumped into the water and as soon as as we put our heads in, we saw the beautiful coral reef. These videos honestly don't do justice to how stunning it really was and I highly recommend to go snorkeling here because out of all the places that I have snorkeled in Taiwan, including Kenting and Orchid Island, Green Island was by far the most beautiful. We spent a long time swimming around and exploring the area, just admiring the beautiful coral and the colorful fish.
ready to leave and trying to get out of the water, the waves were pretty strong and I got knocked over by one and I ended up cutting my leg on the coral and I started bleeding so a big tour group that was there helped me to apply some medicine to it. Then I went back to my hostel to see if they had a first aid kit and the owner was so kind and helped me to get patched up and gave me a bunch of band-aids as well. Once I was good to go, I got back on my scooter and rode to the Sika Deer Ecological Park to meet back up with my friends. After unsuccessfully trying to feed the deer for a while, we hopped back on the scooters and kept driving up the mountain until we got to Little Great Wall, which as the name suggests is a beautiful stairway path that resembles the Great Wall of China and leads to a nice little pavilion with stunning panoramic views. Next to the Little Great Wall are the Pekingese Dog and Sleeping Beauty Rock, which really accurately resemble both of those things if you look closely. Then we hopped back on our scooters and just drove all the way toward the main street of the busy town area in order to grab a bubble tea from Prezzo Tea before saying goodbye to one of my friends who was catching the ferry to Taidong a day earlier than us. After we said goodbye to her, my other friend and I drove to the lighthouse which was actually very beautiful and had a nice little beach next to it. We decided to chill there for the next few hours and watch the sunset from there, which turned out to be one of the most unique and memorable sunsets I had seen during my entire exchange in Taiwan. It truly looked like a light show from heaven. Then it was time for our dinner reservations at the all-you-can-eat barbecue restaurant. Unlike on Orchid Island, this time instead of ordering, you just go up to the fridges and grab whatever you want. They had meat, fish, tofu, and veggies in the fridge, and you also get free rice and noodles and tea included for only 250 NTD per person. The next day we woke up and checked out of our hotel and then took our scooters to New Toshan, which translates to Cowhead Mountain. We walked up a trail to a nice little lookout point to take some pictures and then jumped back on our scooters to drive to Da Bai Sha Beach. Since I couldn't get my bandage wet, I just chilled under the gazebo listening to a guy sing and play guitar while my friend went swimming. Then I got bored so I hopped on my scooter back towards the hot spring which had a big rock next to it that I climbed up and got a nice view of the whole hot springs area that we had gone to two nights earlier. Then I drove back to Da Bai Sha Beach to find my friend. We took a bunch of photos with the ocean at the end of this stone path. When we were walking towards our scooters about to leave, I heard the guy in the gazebo start to play one of my favorite Chinese songs, Tao Tai by Eason Chan, so I ran back to the gazebo to listen to it. Anyways, after we drove into town to get some seaweed shaved ice, which is one of the specialties of Green Island, they are served in large seashells and were super delicious and perfect for the hot summer day. The owner of the store was also super friendly and I highly recommend this shop. Then we grabbed some food from Family Mart before heading back to our hostel. As you can see, this is the main street where a lot of the restaurants and shops are and it can get pretty busy so we didn't spend too much time there because it was hard to drive through. Anyways, we got back to our hostel and returned our scooters and then they had a driver take us back to the harbor to catch our ferry to Taidong. 
that was our trip to Green Island. It was a lot of fun and I was honestly surprised by how much there was to do. It definitely had a different vibe to Orchid Island, which was much larger, quieter, and less populated. Anyways, I'll try to list all the places I mentioned in the description box below, and stay tuned for the last part of this vacation where I stayed in Taidong for two nights. Thanks for watching!